with thing and person. With some, with what? With thing, things and person. Who something and who some person. Yeah, you could refer to a person as cool. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But it's, it would only be used in very informal uh, circumstances. It would not be considered formal English. Informal. Yeah, yeah. If I said, if if um, if if uh, you ask me, if you ask me, uh, do you like Nat? I'd say, yeah, she's pretty cool. She's cool. Uh huh. Yeah, it would it would mean that I like her. You know, yeah, she's cool. It's it's uh, she's okay. I like her. But it's considered slang. It's not formal English. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Not polite. Oh yeah. Well, yeah. If I didn't like her, then I'd just keep it to myself. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. To, to, yeah. Yeah. Uh huh. Well, it, it's a, it, it's like if if I wanted to say that I liked I you know she's a good friend. If I said um, if you asked me do you like Nat I said yeah she's okay. It means, it, okay means kind of, you know, it's so-so, so, you know, okay, okay, it's so-so. But, 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 but if I said, yeah, she's cool, then that means I like her pretty good, you know. Suppose I don't like her, how you say that? Well, why, why would you do that? <laughs> uh -huh. um, if you ask me, um, do you like Nat? And I wanted to say that I really didn't, and I wanted to be polite about it. I would say, she's not my favorite person. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. that, would be, that would be a way of saying that um, she's not really my friend, but I didn't want to say that I disliked her. I just was being, uh -huh. yeah. But, but see, I really do like her, so I'd say, yeah, she's cool. Mm -hmm. So, I did. so, okay. Can call. She is a person. A person. Oh. A what person? That that lady. Oh. Fashionable. Fashionable. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Training. Yeah. Cool clothes. Yeah, she's cool. 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 And early. <laughs> Ugly? Ugly and can't stand. Can't stand. Well, mm -hmm. ugly. Uh, ugly is, is a negative word. Mm -hmm. You know, when you say something is ugly, you're saying that you don't like it. Mm -hmm. So you want to be, you would want, if you were using it, you would want to use it in a way that would not offend someone, you know, just to be polite. But ugly, Ugly refers to the appearance of something. Uh, so we would say that, uh, well, that car is ugly, or uh, that person is ugly, um, or that house is ugly. You're referring, you're referring to the way something looks when, when, we, when we say that it's ugly. Now, if you say that Now, if we wanted to say, I can't stand that car, or I can't stand that house, or I can't stand that person, we're, 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 we're saying that we don't like whatever it is, but we're not explaining why. I mean, it could be that I, don't stand, I, I can't stand that person because they've done something bad to me in the past, or I can't stand that person because um, they don't believe the same way I do. Or, you know, there's, 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 there's lots of reasons why we might not like that person. So this is nonspecific. 
We're not explaining why we can't stand that person. But if we, but if we say that person is ugly, then we're, we're, we're saying that we don't like that person because of appearance. In both cases, it's negative. You know, you, you would, um, well, you wouldn't, you wouldn't use those terms. You wouldn't say those things unless you wanted to be rude to someone. You know, unless you wanted to be um, uh, offend, you know, someone. I can stand yeah, I mean, why would you, you wouldn't say that. Um, and, you know, it's, it's like when, when um, in your culture, as in mine, uh, you try to be polite to people, you know, you, and, and if you don't like something, you try to explain it in a way that doesn't offend. So let's say you're at a restaurant and um, you've ordered uh, your meal and you've had your meal and um, the, the server at, after your meal says, well, did you like your, your meal? Well, you're not going to say, no, it was terrible, ugh, you know, can't stand it, you know? Not really much. Yeah, you would just say, well, uh, it was okay. Um, I believe I'll try something else next time. You know, you would you would say something to let the person know that well, you know, um, it wasn't your favorite, but uh, you you don't want to be you know you would not you would not want to be rude, you know, especially in public, you know. So, so why do you, so that's um, any other questions? We started this with, with talking about something being cool. <laughs> See, Toy's t-shirt, that's pretty cool. It's cool. It's cool. Okay. Yeah, it's okay. Uh, okay? Well, want to start a new lesson? Yes. New information? Okay. I wasn't able to, uh, uh, I had some, some new class notes to send you last night, but uh, the internet was not working. So, you know, maybe later tonight I'll, I'll send you. And uh, they're, supposed to, they're supposed to get it fixed today, but we'll see, you know. <laughs> well, welcome, welcome is not the same as never mind. Welcome. Welcome is what you say after someone, well, there's two, two ways you can use that. If uh, someone comes to your home and you open the door, the way you would greet them, you would say, welcome. Welcome is the way you greet someone when they come to your home. Um, it's a greeting, you know. It's a greeting when, when you are inviting them into your home, you know. They'd knock on the door, you'd open the door, they'd say, hello, and you'd say, welcome to my home. Now, there's another way you can use welcome. Um, if um, it's a way of responding to someone after they said thank you to you. For example, um, Pip gives me a cup of coffee. I say, thank you. Mm -hmm. She says, you're welcome. You're welcome. Which means I was glad to do it for you. I would do it again, you know. It's a courtesy. So if she gives me a cup of coffee, as a courtesy to her, I would say, well, thank you. Or I could say, thank you very much, which is I really, really, really do thank you. But then uh, after I say thank you, then the courteous thing for her to say would be, you're welcome. You're welcome, which is a way, which which is her way of saying, I would do it for you again. You know, I was I was happy to to do this for you. When you said, when you said, when you said last night you did not prepare this time for us, what I should. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Yeah. Well, what you would say then is when I said when I said that, uh, oh, I'm sorry, I couldn't send you the class notes because the internet was working. Well, probably the 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 uh, most appropriate response to that would be no problem, no problem. You know, um, it's okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. Never mind. Yeah. Uh huh. Never mind. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, would you tell us about your trip? Oh, you want, you want to hear about my trip? Uh, well, I, I really like Cambodia. Uh, I, I, I flew into Siem Reap. So, uh, and I found Siem Reap, it's a smaller city than Bangkok. We have photographs. Huh? We have photographs. Show us. Show us. Oh, well, I didn't, I didn't bring my pictures. They're on my cell phone. I don't have my cell phone with oh, but I'll show you some pictures. Um, lots of pictures of temples and, you know, things at Angkor. But um, I flew in and, um, and I, I got there Friday night, so I didn't do anything Friday night. But I spent all day Saturday at the archaeological park. Do you know what the archaeology, archaeology, archaeological, you know what that means? No, uh, no.